The first Bug 3 Mini or EX2 Mini I bought uh, blew its ESC within about three flights. So I was a bit annoyed, but eventually I found I could get a much better ESC that was compatible with it and that would handle 2 to 4S in theory. So I got one of those and managed to shoehorn it into the body of the original EX2 Mini um, with a standard flight controller of course and also put a Cadex Turtle um, 1080p camera in it. So that's a quite, quite a sweet little rig that I fly from time to time. And then I thought I'd like to buy the flight control board by itself. So I looked around eventually I got one on eBay. Um, and then I decided that I'd put that into a Bug 6 body. So here's the Bug 6 body I chose with the same 4-in-1 ESC that I used shoehorned into the Bug 3 Mini. And up in front of it is the flight control board that I bought on eBay. So that's all linked up and that worked just fine um, until I put a 3S on it and promptly burn out or the flight control board stopped working. And then I found out about the need to step down the power with something called a buck converter because with the 3S the 12 volts was going straight through out to the flight control board and frying it. That flight control board is only good for about 8 volts so you needed a step down converter which is what a buck, buck converter is to reduce the current to uh, no more than about 8 volts. So the two wires at the top are going to the flight control board. The two thin wires, the black and red, come from the um, 4-in-1 ESC. So that's the way I wired it up to, uh, to make it work. And you can see where they connect onto the flight control board, the brown and red wires. And the other four wires are coming from the ESC for, to do with motor control. So that's the rig. So the other thing you'll notice is I've got a custom um, antenna on it for FPV on it. They come with a, a single wire and these are the two batteries I was testing with the 3S and the 2S. Okay so here's the one that I stopped working and I the fact that it's got a splosh of solder I got that on when I was taking off the original antenna. So what I'm doing here, that's pointing to where the original antenna went and either side, those are earth pads. So I made sure the active element was in the middle and then I just soldered the uh, earth wire to the other side using, I built something out of coax, uh, 316 coax. And I've got another video that shows you how I did it. And here's the important bit, I'm using a multimeter to actually check the voltage that's going in. If I'd, I'd just assume that the uh, 4-in-1 ESC was stepping down the voltage from 12 volts to whatever the flight control board needed. I didn't realize it's passing straight through. So this is the test I should have done in the first place. So I've put a 2S battery on it, I've fired it up and I'm going to check the voltage that's coming into the uh, ESC board from the battery with the multimeter and I'm getting a reading 8.33 on coming out of the 2S battery. Now I'm going to check the voltage that is um, coming out of the yeah into the flight control board from that buck converter and it should be reduced and sure enough it's down to 7.35 so there's a little pot on that uh, buck converter that you twiddle to get the voltage down to what you want so that was good that was the outcome I expected So there's that battery. It's an old battery I've had for a bit. It's not one that I normally fly with. Okay, so now it's time to put the 3S on, which is this one. This is the, uh, the type of battery I normally fly with. Um, so I'm putting this on to see what happens. So as long as I get it down to below 8 volts, I'll be happy. So the input um, it's the same game. I'll be testing the input coming from the battery into the 4-in-1 uh, ESC. As soon as I get my probes ready. So here we go. And 11.8. Uh, 11 11 so it's just under 12 volts from the battery going to the 4-in-1 ESC and I'm getting 7.99 um, going into the flight control board 
through the buck, step down buck converter. So very happy with that. That's that's pretty much what I wanted. I found out in earlier testing if I turn the uh, voltage down too low, um, the thing wouldn't boot up. So here it is, the whole kit with the uh, cover on it. Oh no, that's the uh, one with the Bugs 3 flight control board in with the 10 amp um, ESCs. That's my other uh, custom rig in a Bugs, Bugs 6 frame. And that's, uh, that's looking really good. I've had a few tests, I've had some test flights with that and pretty happy with what I'm seeing. So what I've done here, I'm taking out the Fox here uh, Razor Mini and I'm going to put it in the, the new build. The idea was to make this um, interchangeable so I can go with both rigs <coughs> and just move the camera and the Ishin VTX 02 between the two rigs without too much effort. So the, uh, the video transmitter is just uh, uh, taped into the top of that cover, homemade cover. So here's the whole elegant assembly um, coming out of one bug six frame and heading for another. Also, I put little plugs in it, so the idea is I can uh, plug and play cameras as well. So I can change the VTX or I can change over the camera. They're not sort of just soldered together the way I've done up till now. So this is the first one I've done this way. I'll have to look at my other rigs, like I've got the White Snake camera that came recently, plus another one of these. So White Snake in particular, I'll put plugs on it so I can uh, unplug and move it between drones. So, 5 volt power supply coming straight off the, uh, the flight control board, just the same way as it does with the Bugs 3 motherboard versus the Bugs 3 Mini motherboard. So this is a more modern design, taking 4-in-1 um, ESCs uh, and capable of running higher rated ESCs than the, uh, the Bugs 3. It's also got a little beeper on board. It's not particularly loud, but it's nice to have. So uh, that can help find it if you haven't armed up a, another beeper. So it's clicking my custom cover in place. And that's what it's like, ready, assembled, ready to go. So next step is just to take the props off. These are the... Um, gem fan um, six inch bullnose ones uh, nylon fiber i think they're called they're, they're pretty tough so they will bend but they give me the smoothest um, video of any any props that i've tried so far so in fact i've just ordered some more of those my only worry is i only seem to be able to get them from england um, can't get them from banggood and anybody else and it doesn't seem to be an australian vendors that stock them so I've, I've stocked up just in case uh, that one vendor stops selling them. And I'm using the original Bug 6 uh, knobs that I stopped using for a bit when I was using um, uh, different nuts. But these are really great for um, mix and match use because they're so easy to take off and on without using a special tool. So there we have it, two Bug 6 frames and entirely different builds. Uh, very happy with both. What they've got in common, they'll both run with 3S, which is what I was looking for. Menacing me. I, I don't trust it anymore. <laughs> 